Hey guys, welcome back to another crypto video and today I have some major news for you guys on Tron TRX. So Tron just disclosed a critical bug which could crash their whole blockchain and actually make the whole network unavailable. It's that big guys. This is insane. This is some major news and I want to cover it all for you guys in this video. But make sure you watch all the way till the end because there's going to be a little bit of a cool thing I want to show you guys and also Make sure you check out the Discord. A link for that is in the description below. Make sure you check it out. If you're the first one to send me a private message, I got something cool for you. So go ahead and go to that Discord right now and send me a message. Make sure you all say hi in the chat room. So first off here, Tron discloses that bug, right? So what really happened here is that it got on Hacker One, right? So let's quickly read the first line. The Tron Foundation disclosed a fixed critical bug. Or vulnerability which could have crashed its whole blockchain on vulnerability disclosure platform hacker one on may 2nd so what really happened here is that if somebody would have ddos them they actually could have <laughs> um, made the whole network unavailable it's really that simple it's, it's kind of plain jane but the idea is that this is not really supposed to be how easy it actually could have been so the disclosure explains that with enough malicious requests an attacker could have filled up all the available memory and effectively perform a DDoS um, or DDoS attack on the TRX network by employing malicious code into a smart contract. The disclosure further explains that the impact of such an attack would be full unusable Tron network would have been really severe. They only would need 51% attack um, really though on the super representative notes. The cybersecurity researcher who discovered and disclosed the vulnerability was given a bounty of $1,500 and the issue was first reported on January 14th but has only been publicly disclosed recently after it was already fixed. Of course, any big company is not going to do um, to disclose or give out their, their bug before it is fixed would be ridiculously stupid unless they really don't know how to fix it and they need somebody else to come fix it and they, they want to... You know, grab somebody in, but hackers were rewarded eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars. You know, the white hat hackers, so people who try to fake bugs, these um, pen testers or you know penetration testers or ethical hackers, people who hack for the good, they get a lot of money, all right. And not necessarily everybody. A lot of them do it for the sport, or a lot of them do it because they can and want to find these holes. But a lot of them also earn a lot of money, and it's definitely something major here that that was. Uh, really scary for Tron, I would say. And I think 1500 might not even be fair enough for a compensation. Maybe you should have even gotten more. Just depends on how much work he, he had to pin in to find that. But that's a major bug that he could have also, you know, used for the for the worst. So really thankful to to this person, whoever it was, to Yeah, get that done. Right? Maybe it was a whole firm though. I don't really know. Uh cybersecurity. Maybe it was hacker one as they, they're trying to See, you know, that firm, maybe maybe it happened over there. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter too much, though. There was a critical bug, and it could have been bad, right? So malicious buy code would have caused havoc if it had been <laughs> uh, done. It didn't happen, though, so actually we're, we're kind of in the good. But it's major news because, I mean, to really be this close to full devastation is, is, is really kind of interesting. We're, like, on the edge of a, a mountain. The fun thing is, is that this is with many, many more platforms online, with many more cryptos. There are really game-changing bugs, you know, like real platform-changing or, or major bugs that could just change everything about the network or make it all unusable, unavailable, though they're not found. And that's really with any platform. There must be bugs. There are bugs, and they get fixed all the time, but... Sometimes there's still major ones that get found years later. With Stellar, we found a major one two years ago, and it was not fixed for a very long time. The thing is, a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't know how to take advantage of it. And the companies most of the time try to keep those bugs on the low, so most of the people don't know. But there's so many bug fixes in any project, and it's actually kind of crazy. But um, what we did not know in the first article is actually this part right here. This flaw in Tron's wallet allowed all the wait let's actually read from here potential ddos attacks involved repeatedly calling for smart contracts to be deployed loading with malicious byte code the code formatted accepted by the tron virtual machine this flaw in tron's wallet allowed all of the network's available memory to be taken up by a single party with just one computer which is not supposed to be that way 
which would have effectively broken the whole blockchain during that time. The researcher who discovered the bug first flagged the issue on January 14th and was subsequently rewarded 1500 bucks for their efforts on February 1st. A second bounty worth 3100 was also paid, but the Toronto Foundation chose not to disclose further details. So this is exactly what I was trying to refer you guys to before, that a lot of the bugs, they will never really show you what it was about. But you can definitely see that this $1,500 bounty was already for a major bug. And that they actually paid more than double to somebody here for, for, for a big bug. And most likely, this is not even about resolving. This is just for finding a bug. Hard Fork reached out of the Tron Foundation for more information. And we'll update this piece should we learn more about their uh, bug bounties. And I, I will actually check back on this website to, to see. These hacker one bounties are an industry norm, and yes, these bounties are sometimes really large. But in the ten months since first launching, the Tron Foundation has handed out seventy-eight thousand dollars worth of bounties to security researchers for fifteen separate vulnerability reports. Again, one of these reports must have been crazy high, but twelve of those reports are marked as resolved, and the highest single Tron bounty collected so far is ten thousand bucks. It's insane. Here's again more about the the total bounties, but. There are so many bounties to be to be grabbed with a lot of other companies as well. All you have to do is just <laughs> go ahead and learn ethical hacking, I would say, right? <laughs> just uh, you can do it if you want to. It, the reward is there. It's definitely there. T-Rex resists bearish pressure as Tron prepares for scaling project launch at the end of the month. This is one of the things that people have been really spamming me with. Day in, day out, day in, day out. They keep sending me this article, and I'm just like, why? All right, is, is this so big to you guys? Is this really that interesting to you? Are these side chains that cool? But okay, so Tron's scaling project go live on May 30th. I'm wondering personally, where's the giveaway? Right, the the Tesla giveaway has it already been done? I'm wondering. When is the Tron Tether giveaway? When is that going to be done? I'm wondering still. But in the next couple of weeks, the Tron project is expected to release a couple of new features and for its scaling projects to go live. This development is expected to lure in dApp developers and see the project grow exponentially, which could be very interesting. In addition to growing its authority as the leading dApp platform, Tron plans to become the most scalable blockchain network and Tron is trying to achieve this by deploying a sidechain dApp chain. All right, so... Is that cool? No. Is it new information? No. Uh, I guess some people did not know and maybe they were really excited about this date or uh, things like that. The state of Tron as the hype settles what's left for TRX holders. This is an interesting article. Uh, definitely one to read for any of you guys that are into Tron because now, you know, the more that we're getting into the um, 2019 and, and really away from the bull run of 2017, we're starting to notice that the hype it's not that special anymore, and, and it's really mostly about fundamentals now and ideas, not necessarily about platform itself or projects itself. It's more about the idea um, roadmap and what they really want to do or, or how they're marketing that. So why I'm saying that specifically is but with Cardano, there's definitely not that much done, and it's definitely about where they're going. But as an example, with, with XRP, it's really, to a certain extent, what they are planning to become, how they're doing it, and with Tron, it's definitely how they market themselves and how, how they get things done. It's not so much more about the the hype surrounding them. It's more so that Justin Sun is just a great marketer at, at making all their features seem sublime or just pristine and amazing. And that makes people just really interested in the coin. And also the, the future expectation for Tron is just still amazing, I would say. I would also say that a lot of this is just kind of fake, as Justin Sun is, is trying to keep the coin high, maybe they just spent a lot, a lot of money to, to keep this coin in the market cap in the, in the high. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but the coin just stays there. What's left for T-Rex holders? Well, Justin Sun, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. An interesting thing with Justin Sun is that I, I think the the happiness that people are, are feeling with Justin is, is kind of lacking. I, I think they might be yeah a little bit less happy than they were before. Right, I think people are not that much of a or trusting him anymore because of the Tesla issue. Might be turning around at one point though, but for right now, yeah, I think Justin said is not the most trustable person in this stream. Now, another question I see sometimes popping up is, why are these institutional investors 
um, not coming up, right? So the question here is, why do we never hear about institutions getting involved with T-Rex? Answer is because that ship sailed long ago. It's hate, but it's it's not misplaced, all right? Tron has BitTorrent, which is, is one of the major things that it has, but there's not really that many things which are interesting with Tron. I would say that some people are, yeah, going for. Like, I, I would say... All these big guys are more so going for XRP or Stellar, um, as you can see here. T-Rex is not that interesting to them, I would say. Maybe with some time, as the SEC actually uh, pops in and says, you know, BitTorrent is good and Tron is good, we're going to see a lot of institutional adoption. But you know, uh, BitTorrent being good is, 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 is quite far away from what the SEC would really um, like to say, I, I, I would say. Now, again, the fake Tesla giveaway is really hurting Tron even more. And there's a few other things, but still, a reason I still believe in them, like, very much so, is because of the dApps. I still think the dApps are going to make it insane. And that's still one reason for me to hold. But, again, I can understand why some people might, um, in general term, not, not really like them anymore. Now, Ethereum and Tron price analysis. Ethereum remains in neutral loop as T-Rex undergoes... Um, bullish move and I've definitely seen a lot of enthusiasts compare Ethereum and Tron I still think you should not do that right if we're comparing Ethereum and Tron on price wise you're just comparing like a um, a one month old baby to a nine month old baby or not to a four year old and asking them how much they can do in terms of walking <laughs> the four year old is of course going to be walking like a like a beast and the, the one month old can't walk for shit. Same with Ethereum and with Tron. But, oh wait, no, I should maybe have phrased it differently. Like, the, the four year old might be like having only one leg, and the, the one month old has just two legs. So, within some years, most likely, assuming, the, the one month old is really going to overtake the four year old in the beginning by far because he has like way more power because he has two legs unless he gets a robotic leg or something like that but in theory and, and with Tron and Ethereum I'm seeing it as in Ethereum has had such a head start of a few years with some time here though Tron who's already looking to become way better in terms of dApps gets their time gets their progress because they're on a way bigger path they're just they have the scalability they're working on it like crazy they even got those side chains to really improve even more they're on a good path and they really want to, so they really excel in the DApp realm. And uh, it's just going to take some time to catch up, um, even though they've already caught up in most, mostly everything, just need some time to really excel like crazy. Same with EOS, to a certain extent. Awaiting for backed Tron's T-Rex rapid progress Q1. Uh, you know, Misha Letterman here says, a backed listing for BTC or T-Rex has yet to occur, but Tron is a long way in six months since the Tron community made our voices heard to backed. Um, you know, we got multi-signature on Tron, which was good. Privacy option at Travala, good. Fastest growing DApp platform in Q1, good. Neatron BTT launch, medium good, but I think BitTorrent is really what's going to make Tron back, though. Uh, I don't know if, if, if they're really going to show interest. Tron's DAU highs, but will T-Rex respond and rally? So the DApp realm, again, is, is always showing good, right? And I, I definitely don't think Tron will do bad in the DApp realm. But price-wise for T-Rex, there's still one of the biggest questions unanswered is how much DApps have to do with price and how they really affect each other. Because it could be that the DApps do very, very well, but the price is very, very bad. It could still be. Ethereum beats EOS and Tron to emerge as top smart contract platform in April. Tron is the best platform for DApps, period, you know? With every article that I read, I just get more convinced about my analysis. And crypto analyst issues Bitcoin warning. BTC, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, Stellar, yada, yada, yada. Forecasts. You don't need to watch these articles, guys. I mean, you don't need to. There's not that much information that you don't know about. Most of the time, they just refer to price analysis, like this one right here. But we all know that with time here, Tron is either going to be very, very big or go home. Like, Tron is going to be one of the best cryptos at, like, the sixth position. Crazy amount of money because of the DMs, D apps booming and just whenever somebody thinks about crypto, they're going to be thinking about BTC or TRX or they're going to be really useless because the hype falls off, Justin Sun's credibility falls off and 
they just fall into the void. <clears throat> I think it's still a 50-50. A lot of people are selling their T-Rex, still holding strong, but are you guys holding strong on T-Rex? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. The cool thing I wanted to let you guys know about was that on FreeBitcoin.in, you now have a cool few features on there. You can just, like, bet, and there's a few other cool things. But also, we actually, in the Discord, have a cool, very cool um, signal provider. So, I just recommend you guys all to check out the Discord, and then go to Free Signals. And if you send me a message, I might have a cool surprise for you. Because we actually have a few paid platforms, right? But I won't say too much. Make sure you check out the Telegram if you don't like Discord. And make sure you check out Discord. And I'll see you again in another crypto video. Enjoy it, everybody. This was late at night, but it's all okay.